Across the worktop, Nick's toasting some oatmeal. You can, look, just show you something, though. That's, That's very nice. You but smell that? That's just oatmeal, pinhead oatmeal and sugar. <coughs> and the sugar is turned to caramel, and we just need to spread it out because it sets in big lump, like probably. The sweet oatmeal will go into Nick's whiskey ice cream to accompany his raspberry souffle. I really like the contrast in te uh, temperatures. So I like hot souffle cold ice cream. I think it works for me. Yeah. But there's a real risk that 350 souffles could sink at a royal banquet. Although I quite like the little, you know, barely risen ones. I find they have a certain je ne sais quoi. Before this classically inspired chef starts on his souffle, yeah. he's got to prepare his ice cream. Yeah, he does it very slowly and calmly. I did it this a bit of a manic. Woo! So half of it goes straight on there. After pouring warm cream over egg yolks, vanilla and honey... But it's still boiling. OK. And then it goes straight back in again. The mixture goes into the remaining cream. Care is needed not to curdle the eggs. So what I'm going to add to this is honey. Oh. So... How will that taste different to sugar? Uh, well, the taste of honey. So I'll have the flavour of honey. Mm. Um, but honey is obviously sweet, so that's why I leave the sugar out. Another whisky. The final ingredient will be the oatmeal, which has been used in Scottish cooking for at least 2,000 years.